So let me ask you this. Were you, in fact, fooled by what took place yesterday? Did you fall for the shakeout in Shiba Inu in the crypto market? Well, I hope not because we have bounced back in a very big way. Shiba Inu getting back inside of its trend. And in fact, something very big has been happening in the crypto market. And it's something that should lead us to those big explosive moves that we've been waiting for. People that are saying, oh, yeah, you know, it's it's not happening. Well, it's it's there now. And we need to watch and see if this is, in fact, going to hit ship. I'm Luxide. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again. It's free to do. It'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So this is the exact move that we talked about, guys, right? This, this drop below our trend. Some people I, I saw freaking out. They're like, oh, ship is back and dropping and all these things, right? But ship has climbed back inside of its bull pendant that it was in, right? And we're back above, at least right now, we're kind of floating around the top of these hourly moving averages. But we actually had a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders play out here. And you guys can see what that led to in terms of an hourly candle for ship. It's about 2%. And what is partly making this possible is that Ethereum is making its move as well. Ethereum just had a big breakout to the upside. And if you guys remember, Ethereum tends to drag assets with it, but it also leads the way for that trickle down to other assets in the space. Shiba Inu being an ERC-20 would be one of the biggest direct recipients of this next big move. So this is something to watch very closely. And again, I'm I'm happy now that, you know, my, uh, my longs are getting back close to even. Obviously, this this one I took out more recently, down about 10% currently. Obviously, I'm still up 540% on the one I opened up back on September 24th. Again, if you guys do want to play with leverage on Shiba Inu or other assets in the space, check out that Margex link in the description below. Uh, you can earn up to $10,000 in deposit and trading bonuses, and there's no KYC. So it's very, very easy to use. So the great thing about Shib is it's back on trend. Now, the question here is, which way do we break, right? Do we break to the downside? Do we break to the upside? Well, obviously, Ethereum leading this move is, is very good. It's very it's very strong for the market. We want to see, obviously, BTC do what it's doing, which it did set a new all-time high yet again. Not surprising. This is what we've been talking about. And now Ethereum is starting to show some excitement as well. And this leads to alts moving. But what really is interesting about this is over, the, the over this month, we've actually seen a record $9.7 billion in stablecoin inflows. All right. That is the... Largest amount we have ever seen in a single month. Really think about this, right? This is higher than in March. This is higher than in uh, the height of the bull market cycle, last cycle. And it's even higher than it was in the early part, all right? As BTC ran to 62K for the first time. So you now are, are witnessing something absolutely incredible. And liquidity is the biggest thing that we need, right? We've talked about needing that capital to flow back to exchanges to to facilitate these runs you basically need new adoption new holders you need that excitement to start hitting the market and it's it's starting to, to hit okay it says speculative demand continues to explode and that is true now the important thing about this and why i'm referencing this in terms of shiba inu if you remember back in the early part of this bull market cycle back in specifically when shib did its four and a half x running into march shiba inu was one of the largest direct recipients of new capital inflows hitting the market. People don't realize that, right? But SHIB ran to what a uh, uh, $30 billion market cap. It's saw some of it saw billions of dollars in inflows. Okay. Really think about that. So now we're at a time where those inflows are getting even larger. But what I want to point out is that while we were seeing some of those inflows uh, taking place, USDT was trading sideways. Okay. So this week has been a very large week of inflows for capital, but it didn't really do much in terms of USDT dominance, which means market cap was increasing. So some of that capital was actually hitting assets, but a lot of it was actually still sitting on the sidelines. All right. Hopefully you guys are piecing this together now. So now we've seen a drop off basically from this 4.2% dominance in terms of USDT down to 4.06, but we still have a long way to go here, right? We're still not even at the, these March levels in terms of USDT dominance, but we're at a new all time high in terms of the global market cap of crypto, but we're on a quest to get down here, right? And this trend usually plays out until like, like March or so, and then it starts to kind of climb back up or at least trade sideways. So as people start taking profit. So the big thing is that there's now all this liquidity that's here, all this capital, and it has yet to flow to assets and SHIB being one of those assets that tends to perform well when those capital uh, inflows are hitting 
in a big way when retail optics are high, when there's excitement in the market. So the question I'll ask is, where do you think this is going to flow? So I'm not saying it's all going to flow to SHIB, right? And frankly, there's a lot of capital that is not on exchanges that is going to be flowing in over these next several months. But the point I want to make is that this big move is coming, all right? And this is why I say prepare. This is why I say you're running out of time because all the signs are there. We are about to get a massive surge in the crypto market. And the thing that SHIB likes to do when that happens is pump and pump hard. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.